we're here to talk about carp. Not necessarily the carp everybody thinks about, these big 50 pound fish, but a much more subtle species called the crucian carp. And we're here on the lovely Warwick's water, just outside Newbury, a water that has embraced the principles of a campaign that's close to the heart of all of us at the Angry Trust, the Crucian Carp Conservation Project. Well, either someone's opening a tackle shop by the side of Warwick's water, uh, or there's somebody fishing here. Uh, and of course there is someone fishing, it's my old mate Paul. How are you doing, How are you doing mate? Martin? Good to see you. see you. Well, we just popped down to your Midgen Manor fisheries. You got some Crucians stopped in there last well, week. We did. The, the condition of the Crucians that turned up were phenomenal. All supplied by the Crucian Carp project. Explain to us uh, the, the kind of techniques you need to catch Crucians. They're very shy biting fish, aren't they? They are. Uh, they're very varied. I mean, all, all we've got here today is just a, just a top two of a pole. Right. With a very light rig, some sort of like canal size, you know, sort of like two, three pound bottom on a four to six elastic. So these, very small are, so these are little, they're like continental style weights, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're stocks. Right. Um, and then and these are the equivalent nice of like, what, about a number 12 shot, these yeah. little shot here? Yeah. yeah. And then you've got yeah. your bulk shot there, which is nothing much. Yeah. And then let's have a look at your float. Oh my God. Very, that is delicate, very, isn't it? Very fine tackle, but the bites from the Crucians uh, are very delicate. I'm sure you remember the day we yeah. spent in Marsh Farm with a very, uh, some, well, I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's just it's a like tiny that, little, boom, yeah. Boom. yeah. So, and this is why yeah. you use such delicate tackle. Yeah. Some, and, some uh, days, and, and some days they'll, take away an, they'll take away a waggler, yeah. and uh, on other days when they're biting shy, you do need to be prepared to. So this is this is a, a number what elastic? Uh, this is a number six. Six. So that's yeah. perfect to yeah. fish with two and yeah, three it's sand line. Yeah, it's loosely fitted as well. So, so when yeah. when if you get a big cruise, you yeah, can yeah, absorb yeah. the shock yeah. of the bite. Yeah. And what about on the business end? What have you done bait wise? Uh, we're just just trying a few maggots today. Uh, we've got various other bits and pieces and um, good, so, old, so good old fashioned sweet corn. So chrysalis will do as well. Yeah, castor, ones, yeah. yeah. Maggots, yeah. sweet corn. Bits yeah. of bread, it, do they work? Yeah, bread, uh, tiny pieces of lunch and meat. Right. Uh, is not, isn't nothing special, you know, they, they'll take most things. If it's a uh, castor or good, you can bury the hook inside a castor if they're very shy biting. All right then, Paul, let's see some bragging. Well, after our uh, unsuccessful day at Marsh Farm, me and you had, I did return and uh, that was the, the the best brace that I had, which well, was uh, a 314 and a 310. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, absolute well, stunners. Of course, our plan is to, to, to be able to do this here in the Kennet Valley. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they'll get that big, but it certainly did used to hold uh, three pound uh, cushions in some of these waters. This little fish has seen a decline in habitat. It's threatened because of hybridisation with goldfish and common carp. And it's also such a great fish. It's a fish of little ponds, a fish for anglers to, to take those first faltering steps into the wonderful world of fishing. It's a shy biting fish. It's beautiful, it's bronze, it's brassy. And as you can tell, it's something I'm really passionate about. And there's an awful lot of crucian nuts here in the Kennet Valley. We've had the benefit of some great stocking from the Environment Agency into waters that are going to be especially managed with crucian carp in mind. Newbury Angling Association has taken the Crucian Carp campaign to heart and I'm joined here by Keith, a long-time member of the club's committee. Can you explain to us why Newbury Angling Association have decided to make Crucians crucial? Well one of the things that has been painfully obvious is that uh, the population of Crucian generally mm -hmm. um, has been reduced and because with the particular emphasis on carp fishing generally. Mm -hmm. um, as a club, we're always looking to move forward. And I remember when you actually spoke to myself and one of my colleagues at the AGM and said, would we be interested in as a club? And from the moment we started to discuss it, there was a lot of enthusiasm. And also, we, we're fully aware that um, any initiative that the Angling Trust uh, runs is worth supporting in our opinion. That's very kind of you. Um, <laughs> the other thing is also we very much want to try and um, increase our young membership of the club. Mm -hmm. um, we have lost quite a number of junior members so we feel that having this initiative on board um, should and will attract more children into the club. Firstly, it's the excitement of the way that the fish actually play with the float or yeah. whatever it is. It's the way they actually are attracted to the bait. And it's the colour of the fish, that vibrant gold mm -hmm. and the red fins. 
It's absolutely spectacular. And I, I know as a youngster, um, not here I have to say, but that was one of the best fish I, as far as you know, I'd ever caught. And um, I'm sure the youngsters, you know, it's just special. It's just special. They are special. Just, just round the corner here, uh, just by that vegetation, uh, down on the inside of this lake, I've caught some beautiful, beautiful crucian carp. But sadly, of course, they've had to compete with other fish in, 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 in the lake. So I'm delighted that the Newbury Angling Association are going to restock this lake, are going to make sure it's managed with crucians in mind, because I really do think that this particular water uh, could become uh, one of the great crucian carp ponds, uh, certainly in the Thames Valley. Well, Bob, here we are at Warwick's Water. There can't be many people who've had a lake named after them. How did that come about? Well, all the work I've done in the past, 60 years I've been in the club, and uh, paperwork I've done for them, and bits and pieces, and then I was treasurer. And now I've uh, just sitting and taking a back seat now. So this is for services rendered to Newbury Angling Club, yeah? Correct. Fantastic. Now, we've talked about Warwick's Water as a perfect venue for Crucian Carp. Have you caught crucians here, Bob? I have caught crucians here. Any big ones? Uh, no, no. I, <laughs> I seem to catch all the small ones. But uh, no, uh, about about just under two pounds was the biggest one I've had, biggest crucian. What does it feel like uh, to have that big bar of gold coming into your lap? Oh, landing? lovely. I didn't realise it was a crucian until it came out. I thought, you know, in, my, in those, this, I was, well, I was young. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, I thought it was a goldfish to start with. You know, when it was thrashing about. But no, when it came out, lovely, lovely, and I think cruises are terrific. With the stockings we've recently received, courtesy of the Environment Agency, there's massive potential here in the Thames Valley for creating new crucian fisheries. But of course, the premier crucian fishery, the one that has got all the headlines, uh, is Godalming Angling Club's water at Marsh Farm down there in Surrey. Behind me is our Harris Lake, which is now famous for its crucian carp, with fish up to four pound plus and it was opened for fishing in 2004 and we made a conscious decision at the outset to make this our crucial water and to that end we sourced fish from a proven true strain from our own water at Johnson's. People often ask how do we keep this as a top crucial water and to my mind there are four main issues. The first is water quality most important. The second is predation. We want to maintain these crucians and keep them so we have cormorant control. The third is competition and to that end we want to make sure our crucians are well fed so we avoid putting bream in the water. And finally of course the most important is hybridisation. We've avoided that by not introducing common carp with that strain. The National Crucian Carp Conservation Project was a brainchild of the angling artist Chris Turnbull and our objective is to promote the conservation of crucian carp, to spread good practice, to encourage uh, the creation of crucian habitat uh, and to advise on, on, on the best possible ways of managing crucian carp fisheries for the future.